Hey, this is workout number eight, and you will have then started eight, the eighth week of your eight week challenge. So, big up to you. So, this one is all about the resistance bands, okay? So, gonna run through all eight exercises with you now, then we'll get going with the workout, okay? Now, remember, you have different weights of resistance band. Don't think that, ah, that's too light. So, in your units, the colored one, is the lightest the gray one is the middle the black one is the heaviest now i might regret putting the heaviest on for my romanian deadlift so we'll see by the end of round three if i'm slightly screaming then we're going to be doing some bits and pieces with our arms as well as a squat but you choose the weight that is right for you okay it might be that the to start with your colored ones are the perfect ones so don't think oh man jeanette's got all the heavy stuff I ought to go with the heavy stuff. Not the case at all, because remember, my importance for you is getting your technique right, okay? Don't overcook it, and then you end up injuring yourself and not being able to work out for the week, okay? So, first up, we have got your Romanian deadlift. So, make sure that you've got them looped around here. Remember, if you've played with them before, nice and easy to click on and off, okay? So, I'd probably recommend them going on the outside too. Again, you're gonna have the loop in your hands. Now with a deadlift, we're not saggy back. Nice strong back, shoulders pinned back and your butt is directly behind you so you've got a nice neutral back. So you're gonna exhale to come up to tall, okay? This is your start position. Your arms stay stuck by the side of your body. Think T-Rex, silly short arms. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Shoulders are pinned back. Exhale and squeeze your bum and engage your core on the way up. Breathe in. Exhale up, okay? Now you might find that by the round of eight, end of round three, you're going, ooh, I think I overchose. If you need to pause me, switch it down so that your technique doesn't go to pop, do so. But don't get lazy and end up doing this, because that's when you're gonna hurt yourself, okay? So, remaining deadlift. Exercise number one. Now, next up, we've got a narrow squat with an overhead press. So, on the outside edge of our weight gym, we've got three little hook positions. Hook them on either side, and then attach your handles for this one. So, we are gonna be doing a squat with an overhead press. So, I'm gonna have, this is your set position, okay? Now, when you're doing a narrow squat, you really need to make sure that your knees and toes are staying in line, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, squat down, equal pressure through both feet. We're gonna be stood on the box because it's gonna make the press a little bit trickier. Breathe in, exhale up. Breathe in, exhale up. So you're gonna to need to squeeze your bum and engage your core all the way up into the press, okay? Exhale up. Now. We've just done our squat into overhead press, okay? Next up, we've got an alternating fly with a front raise, okay? So, you are gonna have your hands out the front and the guys at Weight Gym have come up with this lovely exercise for us. So we're gonna exhale across, exhale across, and then you're gonna alternate with a front raise, okay? So alternate across, alternate across. We're going across the body, exhale lift. Okay, so you're gonna to need to engage your core here. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale, and then through here. Now, your modifications for all of these exercises, guys, is purely the weight that you're using, okay? So change the band to whatever you need to, all right? Now, with that one, if you're feeling like you wanna, instead of just doing alternating hands for the front raise, if you're feeling a little bit game, you can level it up a wee bit. By having done your flies across, you can then go and then do both hands for the front raise. Okay, so you might get to the point going, ooh, I've overcooked this one, I've chosen the wrong way. Quickly pause me, switch the bands, and we'll get going again. Okay, now, coming up to exercise number four, which are Nordic flies. You're gonna need to take the handles off because we're going to need them to be held just here so with this one we're holding just here okay so like this 
we're then going to come up so that there you can see the uh, clips above your hand. Now this one you can add a little bounce to get a bit of flow with the lift, okay? So, so it's like you're doing that Nordic skiing. Now, with this one, if you're thinking, oh, my range of motion is not so good, could just be that you've chosen a band that is slightly heavy. But as you've seen from what I was doing here, this is a heavier band, so I'm not actually getting anywhere near my head with this, but I can still very much feel it in my shoulders and my back. If you want a larger range of motion so you can feel it all the way up here, just pop down to the lower weight, guys. Not a problem at all. So that's your Nordic ski. Okay, breathe in, exhale. Engage the core and you'll have even more lift, okay? Now, next up, exercise number five, we have got our press-ups into a donkey kick. So with this one, you'll need to attach your straps, your ankle weights, to your straps. So put your ankle straps on before we start the workout so that when we come to then quickly switch for exercise number five, we're already there. So we're doing a press up on our knees, narrow grip, or you can be holding here. So we want to be a nice square position, okay? Breathe in, exhale, leg up, leg up. Now with this one, keep the back nice and neutral. When you're extending the sole of the foot, up to the sky, don't stick your bum up because that's arching your lower back. We need it to stay stuck together, okay? So, back stuck together, exhale, breathe in. So, lead with the sole of the foot up to the ceiling for this one, okay? Again, I've still got the middle band on here, so if you're thinking, go on, it's a bit tricky, just drop it down to a lighter weight, okay? Now, next up, this isn't going to work, I'm going to have to unhook myself first. Otherwise, they're going to be all crisscrossed over. So, we need to attach these again once we are sat around the other way. So, you are going to be here and here, and your head's going to be on your weight gym unit. So, we have got some bicycle crunches coming on. So make sure that lower back is in contact. Exhale out, exhale out. So you can change this by how quickly you go. But remain, engage the core and really use that core muscle to keep you nice and still, okay? So exhale out and back in again, all right? Now, let's unclip ourselves because we've got mountain climbers next. Everybody loves a mountain climber. So, don't worry about needing to take anything off, just keep all that there. So, either hand straight or flat on here or onto the handle, which is ever easiest. So, you need to come into that plank position. If you're the advanced option, shoulders back and down, you're in a plank position and you're staying nice and neutral. You can go at your own tempo, which makes it easier now. If you're starting from the beginning, guys, everybody has to start there. Start here, exhale in, exhale in. Or you can just come up, one, two, drop down, breathe in, relax, one, two. Okay, but we've got to remember that back has got to stay neutral at all times. No sticking your bum out and overarching or tucking under, okay? And again, another modification is how quick you go. So take it at your space, okay? Right then, last up, we need to unclip everything that we got up because we have got side crunches coming up. So again with this one, you can make this as hard or as easy as you want. You can use single dumbbells on the row, so you could use the two and a half kg if you want. Or if you're feeling game, you can stack this up as heavy as you like. So, for this one, we are stood nice and tall. We are gonna breathe in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, suck up that pelvic floor and engage that core. Exhale up. Now, you can do it without the unit and just use the dumbbells on their own. 
you can load it as heavy as you like. Or to start with, if you just want to get used to using the unit at the size that it is, take all the weight up and just use it as that. So breathing in, going down, exhaling up, making sure that we stay in that nice neutral line. Okay? Right then, that is your demo. I'll see you in there.